Mahila, Ethiopia, and Filipino um, was the first fruits today um, over on Flamingo. Um, I said, go ahead and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pay, I'll, I'll go ahead and pay for the Coke. And then they brought out, um, through the front door, this, um, real hot, um, woman. And, um, so then the two men at the bar were like, no, no, like they, they said something that like was covert in their language. And then, um, to, to the main small waitress who's the bartender. And then, uh, um, so then the, then the taller, um, woman that just came in, she acted like, like she started laughing, like she was embarrassed kind of, and was like, um, the, the waitress was saying, oh, training, training, you know? And so then, uh, I ended up paying for the Coke and I said, oh, it's just been a weird eating day today. Then she came back and I was like, oh, w what I meant was um, out of order, out of order today, not nothing weird. And so then she went up there to those two guys that were having looked like good food, looked like real good food. I, I should I, I, if I had the money, I would have gotten some. And, uh, you know, because I, I was rude, basically, is how it was today. You know, just getting a Coke there and eating peanuts. And uh, so then she then she said, he's joking. He's joking. That's what she said to the two men up there. And but it seemed like that they were talking about their own thing and it made sense for what they were talking about. So then um, I left. And, uh, that, that was it today that, um, so I'm, I'm about to take a shower. You can hear the water in there. And, uh, my sister's making charcuterie board. Um, so I got that to look forward to. <laughs> and then, uh, um, I, and then I said, I can get Texas Roadhouse later if they wanted that, but you know, it's not, it's going to be what they're making. I'm sure. And I, I'm completely out of money. I, I've got like a, you know, two or three dollars. Um, that's all I've had today is the peanuts and the Coke. Um, I, I put everything into that first fruits because I was like, this is something. And they even they blocked off the Chick-fil-A. I was about to go there just to get my regular, you know, like it like my, my regular Beetlejuice, basically. And um, they had it blocked off the cars. And it was such a cluster that I just, I, I went into the other lane and just for, I was like, forget this, you know, and just because it was, it, it, all the cars were like blocking the area. So, um, that, and then, uh, yeah, I thank God that it worked out today. Um, or at least I hope it did. Restaurateur in, uh, Lexington. Uh, me and Max, um, hoping that that all went through. And then, uh, even my name, my cursive name, little, um, you know, little platform that, you know, little, little like that you put on the shelf. Um, that with the one that had like a little flower in it, a little frame said like, um, what my strongs was. And my, somebody even said, that's what you are or something like my mom or Granby or somebody said, that's what you are. And, um, so anyway, but that was from a young age, you know, so I don't think that it's bullshit because that's what they said. I think they were more like, he'll never, <laughs> like, it, it'll never be even close to possibly or it was just like it was so simple that they thought he'll he, he won't get it you know um but either way i think it, i think that it's uh six one either way um it could be six one just based off of um going off what happened yesterday like how there's people in town ba's friends 
and then like the woman's spirit connected to that like it caused like a little perfect storm for me to have a good writing and even the night before i went i went to that different uh swirl you know um rolled, rolled and i and i pulled a me i pulled a mika um or macau 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 um from who was my favorite character when i was reading it in the in the dark place um da one of david's wives and i even i even tried to do a strongs one time that was her and just have it be a man like have it be a man that like mikhail is a man but it's but the strongs is mikhail like it's a you know um i mean if if little baby can be a camel i thought i could be mikhail you know and still be a man but I don't like how they talk about Lil Baby on the radio. They said, um, they were like, oh, Lil Baby sounds good on that. Like, I thought Lil Baby sound good on that. And I'm like, man, these other rappers, like, <laughs> look, he's doing, like, some burning flame or something. Like, you better, like, not say a word about him. Like, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't like it. And, you know, even my cousin said, like, oh, he sounds the same on everything. And even I said before I knew all this that a lot of the rappers they sound the same. They sound kind of like a like a wine, you know, a little bit of a wine. But now, since then, those first few, and I and I loved Lil Baby's first ones, like his um, uh, you know, like um, like a Lil Baby got children, children, C H I L R. I N. Um, and I like that one. And then, um, and then he got really hype though. He is, he, they got really hype. And then it was like, he needed someone to be his witness with him. And, um, nobody did. I think it was supposed to be Ford. That's what I'm thinking, man. And I, I think that he was supposed to witness and get out through that, but he didn't. Um, I don't think it was me, man, because how could little baby say he, he, you know, Ty Lee or whatever. How, how could he say that for me or King? But then like, he's saying, where were you? Like he was like, okay, they were going to get me out early because I've been through so much or something. Well, First off, I don't think they do that. Second off, he's saying two different things. So, um, and look, it's it, it is it's just the parameters of the deal. That's all it is. It's just the parameters of the deal. So, get ready for some good charcuterie, and I'm gonna get in the shower. Thank you.